Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today and I'm coming at you with a wig review. Now some of you have already seen this wig on me, but now I'm giving you the total details on this wig so that you guys can go out and get it yourself. Now, if you haven't seen this wig many, many years ago when I first started on YouTube, a whole three whole years ago, as of August the 14th, it will be my three year anniversary of being on YouTube. And I actually did this wig review um, or one similar to it many many years ago and it was I think it was like one of my first 10 videos so I'm going to try to link that video so that you guys can see me back then and how I was interacting with you guys and how I handled the camera back then so many of you will see that video and it's going to be linked in the description box underneath of this video but right now I'm doing it on the 100% Remy human hair um, mommy wig and this is the Janet Connect collection the difference between this wig that I have on now, this wig that's on the picture, and the wig that I wore almost three years ago on that video that's under me for the description box is that this is the Mommy Wig Part 2. Yes, it's the Mommy Wig Part 2 wig. Um, it just came out not too long ago, so of course I had to grab it. And if any of you don't know about the Mommy Wig, first of all, where have you been, really? Have you really been on YouTube at all? Because everybody named mama literally has this wig so if you haven't seen many many reviews on the mommy wig the original part one mommy wig then you must have been living under a rock but anyway um, it is definitely a classic it is definitely a must-have and especially for spring and summer you guys it is a must-have sharp as attack haircut okay so on some people I noticed that it does look like the deacon of the church, the deaconess of the church, or the mother of the church wig. <laughs> we love the mother of the church. Don't get mad at me, mama of the church. But being in our 30s and 40s, we may don't want to look like her. Bad Kiana, bad Kiana. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's definitely a classic wig. You have to get the mommy wig, you guys, but the mommy wig two. I'm going to tell you the difference between the mommy wig two and the mommy wig one. Okay. The mommy wig two is the only difference is it's a little longer. Now, right now I have it where it is like I just put a little bit of cheap lotion on it. You know, cheap lotion is like basically water based or watered down. So I just put a little bit of cheap lotion on it. And this is what it looks like. But it can get higher as you can see it can get higher than what it is okay so that's the only difference that I found in part one mommy wig and then this part two mommy wig so it's just a little bit more height to the hair it's still tapered in the back and the sides okay it's still like that um, as far as the combs, I will tell you it does have combs in a weird place. Now, the comb in the back, it just has an adjustable strap in the back uh, comb, is weird because it's going to be off-centered if you go by the part that's in the middle of your head that is already made into the mommy wig, okay? Um, now, you can cover up that part like I've done, so you can't basically see the part as you can see. All right, but you can cover it up by just working the hair and stuff like that. But um, if you go by the center of the part, the back piece is going to be off center, which is fine because nobody sees it, but I'm just letting you know. Um, so it does have the adjustable strap in the back, and then it has the one comb in the middle of the, the nape of your hair. Then it has two combs in the top of your head. It doesn't have any additional combs besides that. So it doesn't have any combs on the side or anything like that. So you may want to put a bobby pin or two on the side just to basically keep it down where the ear part is. As far as the cap size, if you're interested in knowing it is um, for like a large head, I have a lot, I have thick hair underneath of my hair, um, underneath of this wig. So I have no problem with the hair um, I have no problem with the, the size of the cap, and I don't consider my head to be extremely small. Um, it's not a big water head, but it's not small either. So, yeah. So, um, it says it's Remy hair, 
lightweight and comfortable to wear, um, optimal ventilation and comfort. Um, it was a, resili a resilient cat base, perfect fit, uh, versatility and styles that you can create, natural and refined look, various choices, colors, and styles, which is true because they did have every color from blonde to black. Um, I stuck with the classic because I wanted to be able to play up my jewelry and things like that, eye looks and stuff. So when I'm doing a sharp haircut like this, um, I like to try to stay with a jet black. So this is a number one. But yeah, um, it's just really, really easy, you guys. It is extremely tangle free. Um, it's definitely a wig to get to go to your go to wig um, if you want a short look. And if you're afraid to cut your hair this short for the summer, grab this wig. It doesn't matter if you have long hair underneath, but if you just want a different look. I think a lot of people don't get uh, that people that don't wear wigs, you don't get that it doesn't necessarily mean that you are bald headed. You know, you may just be the type of woman that like different looks. As for me, I like to change quite often. I like to be a chameleon. I like daddy to come home and not know who he's going to get that day. That's just the type of woman I am. And I like to be versatile. I don't like to wear the same thing over and over and over again. Hair has become an accessory for me and for many of you. So that's why wigs like this is a must have for me. Sure, I may like long hair, but then when I'm in that short hair mode, I know which ones to go to and this is definitely a go-to wig so whether you get the mommy one or the mommy two like I have on now it's definitely a winner you can get these from any store just simply put in the Google, uh, Google search engine uh, mommy wig part two or mommy wig one you'll see a whole bunch of stores with it um, but you can get it from hairsisters.com you can get it from uh, New York um, I mean New, uh, NY mall hair mall uh, that's where I got mine from, NY Hair Mall. Uh, you can get it from Ozone. You can get it from so many different places, you guys. Uh, again, if you can never find a wig that maybe you've looked at on YouTube and you want to find it or they sold out of the place that the, the person that was doing the video or the review um, told you guys where to get it from and they sold out of it, all you got to do is just in a Google search engine, just put the name of the wig and you'll find a million places. You probably can even get this from eBay. So just look, put in the search engine, Mommy 1, Mommy 2, wig by Jeanette Collection, and you'll see many, many sites that have it. So I hope this has helped you out in some way, shape, or form. This is low maintenance, you guys. When I say low maintenance, I'm talking about even a sister that is not used to doing her own hair, you can do this, sister. Put a flower on the side call it a day I'm, I'm trying to tell you this is a must have a must have so easy so convenient and just so fly so on this note on that note um, I thank you all for tuning in if this has helped you in some way shape or form and you enjoyed this video and it gave you some insight onto the difference between the mommy one wig and the mommy two wig make sure you thumbs up I hope that you make sure if you haven't already subscribed because it is free cost you nothing to do so and you'll be able to get in on all the savings deals and all the extra fly stuff that we talk about here at Big Cuss 52 so make sure you subscribe as well on that note I'll talk to you guys later I thank you all for tuning in and be blessed